Do you struggle with eye contact whilst you're talking to a webcam during a meeting or when you're making content or when you're just live on Twitch or whatever else you want to be doing? Well, today I'm going to do a full download and install of the Gaze Redirect AI Eye Facial Recognition. It will keep your eyes on the webcam at all times. As you can see, my eyes have not left the webcam the whole time. But I'll show you in a second. I've been looking around the whole screen. I've hardly looked at the webcam even once. And you can barely even see it with my eyes. They might flutter around a little bit. But it is absolute essential tool if you're trying to use a script and read towards a webcam. So as you can see here on the left here is my original video with my eyes are going all over the place. I'm not really even looking at the webcam at all. Over here on the right, my eyes are at the webcam the whole time. They are hardly even moving. This is exactly what Gaze Redirect does. It just pretty much focuses your eyes at the webcam the whole time, really engaging your audience for the whole time. You looking around like I am there really doesn't feel like you're talking to the audience the whole time and you may not be engaged the whole time with them. So everything we're going to be doing today is going to be in the description down below. There's going to be links that you need to go follow and download and then there is a copy and paste that you need to do exactly. I'm going to be doing all with you on the computer. Make sure you do it exactly right otherwise it won't work. Trust me I did it wrong a few times but this way will work 100% of the time and you can put this straight into your Zoom, onto your OBS. So it's a really, really awesome tool that can be used in many, many different ways. But let's get into how we do it. So what we have here is the exact written thing that is in the description down below. We're going to use these two hyperlinks to find the downloads that we need. So this first one, the GitHub NVIDIA, it is here. Come down and you code the source code zip. Click on that. Download the zip. So once you've downloaded, it will pop up like this. It'll You go and extract everything. You need everything from this folder. Extract all. Once you've extracted it all, it'll come up as a download exactly like this. Exactly what was in that folder will be unzipped and they're ready to go. Minimize that one. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the other file, come to the other hyperlink, click on that, and then it will take you to the NVIDIA NGC catalog. Here, you are going to have to sign in. You may need to make an account if you don't already have one. It's pretty simple. Just follow the prompts, sign in, and then we'll get to the next stage. So if you already had an account and you logged in, you should be taken straight to this page and bada bing, bada boom, easy. If you needed to make an account, I'd go ahead and make an account. It's pretty straightforward. It's very easy. And then go back and click the hyperlink again so then you can sign in and come straight to this page so you don't have to go searching for this. So once you're on this page, this is the zip file you need to download. It is 1.7 gig, so it will take a little bit of time to download. And then again, you just extract all and then find that folder again. So once we have unzipped it and then it's in its own folder, this is what it's going to look like. And the only thing that we need from this whole download is this bin folder. We are going to take this bin folder and we are going to drag and drop it into the other folder that we have, the one that says readme.md. So if you have the main one, you open it once, this is where you're going to drag and drop it to. So we're going to take this bin folder and drag it straight into here. So going through our checkpoints here, we have downloaded the original file, we extracted that zip file, then we have downloaded the next file, we have extracted everything, we have drag and dropped the bin folder to the main folder of the first download. It has a file named readme.md. We'll just check that. Readme.md, right there. I know it might be a bit hard to see, but that file is in there. Make sure you put the bin folder in there. This is the only way it will work. So next up is to find the gaze redirect. It is located on slash samples slash gaze redirect. So as it says there, we're going to go samples, gaze redirect, and then we're onto this page. It should look exactly like this for you. This run may be called run.bat, but that's what we want. If you have it as run, like I do, make sure you go in and just change that to run.bat. So when we're at this stage, we're gonna click on the run.bat. We're gonna go copy, paste, and put it exactly back into where it was. And we're just gonna change that from copy to original. So you still have the original there because this is what we are going to copy and paste. So if we click on it again and go edit, it will bring up this notepad. We are going to delete everything that we have there. Head back over to the YouTube description and this right here, you need to copy it exactly how it is. Do not change anything just yet. Head back over to our notepad and paste it in there exactly. Once you have pasted it in there, click on file, save. So when you're in the notepad editing this, there's one thing that you may want to change. This split screen view equals false. This means that you're only going to get the AI changed eyes in a video source by itself. If you want to see your original head as well as the new eyes, then you need to change this to true. 
That is the only change that you should do in here, nothing else. So once you've edited your notepad, everything is all set up, you're ready to go. Everything is in the code, it should be working, but there is nowhere to run it from here. So we need to click on this top heading here and put CMD. Inputting the CMD into that directory column will bring up this page right here. It is a command prompt and it's how you start applications on your computer, but all you need to do is put in run dot bat enter and it will start running the program. Just wait a little second. I've, when I first done it, I was like, oh, what have I done wrong? It's not opening. But if you follow, followed everything correctly that I've given you today, in just a second, it should pop up down here. There it is. So once it's popped up, up over there, as you can see on the left, we have the original and on the right, we have the better one. So it is working. There it is. So hopefully I've helped you today, guys. If I have, hit that subscribe or like button. I may do some of these tutorials in the end. I know it's different to what I usually do. But I think I've really nailed this down into the easiest version I can. If I've missed anything, please let me know so I can pin it in the comments below. But anyway, thank you for listening and hopefully I've helped you out and good luck with the